Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Uh, my name is Fogel and today I'm going to show you how to simply place a turret. And I mainly am making this video uh, for my teammate because <laughs> he simply refuses to learn how to place turrets. So for him, especially for him, I'm not going to name him, but here's your video. So we're going to use some power, a turret and some weapons. Now, the first thing is the power. If you take the electrical tool in your hand, you're going to see some information, charge left, active usage, and max output. Now, max output is 50, one turret uses 10. So basically, you can run five turrets on one large uh, medium battery. We're going to need some power, and we're going to use a solar panel or a windmill. Usually when I set the system up for the turrets, I'm using windmills, but for one turret, you can also use one solar panel. We're going to place the solar panel. Now keep in mind that the maximum output of a solar panel is 20 and they don't work at night. So in the night, your power output will be zero. There's going to be no power generated into the battery and the turret, if it's on, is still using 10 power. So basically, if you look like this, the maximum power is 9k of a battery. If it runs out, your turret stops. So that's why I usually use windmills when I'm up to turrets, because windmills do create power in the night. The second thing about windmills, uh, about the solar panels, is that it's important to check G where you are on the map. Now, I'm in the building server, so it's a little bit different here. But stay, uh, say you're in the north side of the map, you're going to want to point, rotate it with R, towards the south. Like that. And if you're in the bottom of the map, you're going to want to place it towards the north. And why is that? Because the sun is actually, without you seeing it, having a cycle of day and night and it's moving around and if you do it like that so north and south you're going to get the longest output so we're going to place it south now we're going to attach the power on the side of the solar panel to the battery it has an in and we're going to place the turret because right now you can see the power in is zero, but it has power input and it's going to the battery. And now we're going to use the turret. We're going to place it. And if you look now, you can simply move it around a little bit. And the arrow is always facing to the side that you want it to point. They have um, 180 degrees visible. So I made a small turret board just to show you how they can actually be a little bit protected and guard. We're going to place it and it's still empty. We're going to hit E and we're going to place a weapon inside. Now the best weapon for a turret is either the Bolti or the Python. And the Python is really cheap. But for this we're going to use the Bolt. Before you place it in, make sure it's fully loaded. Otherwise the turret will have to reload. First we place the weapon and then we're going to place the ammo. Now the funny thing about uh, a bolty in a turret is that you can actually place a silencer on it and those are really annoying. Now weapon is in and you can see there's a power in. We're going to do the power in and we're going to attach it to the battery. Power output. Now it's still off because this one doesn't have power but because it's uh, on the building server does have power now. And as you can see, it's working. That's how you simply place a turret. Now, if you want to use multiple turrets, you're going to need to split the power with a splitter or a branch. The splitter is actually the cheapest if you place multiple ones. And what I like to do is I place one branch. I also like to create a kill switch. And I'm going to show you why that's a good idea. 
Because the one thing my buddies don't do, if they actually do place a turret, is authorize me on a turret. I'm going to kill the power output again, because I want to do it again. I'm going to go through the switch. From the switch, I'm going to go out to the branch. And like I said, a turret takes uh, 10 power, so three turrets take 30 power. The splitter takes one power, so the branch has to be 31 power. And what a branch does is it has a normal output and a controlled output. And I need 31. So if you are on the branch and you hit E, it's on 31. I just typed it in. There we go. We're going to attach this one to here. And now something very important. Hold E. It opens a menu on the turret. And we're going to authorize friends. So if you have a teammate, he is not uh, authorized on the turret yet. Even if he's authorized on the TC. So you're going to need to name every friend that's going to be authorized on the turret. Otherwise, the turret will shoot him. And that's an easy way to place a turret. Hope you liked the video. Uh, leave a comment if you uh, need something different to know about power. And there's a lot of videos already about power, but this one is especially for my teammates, as I said. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button if you liked it and subscribe to the, my channel if you want to see more of my videos. That's it for me now for now. See you around. Ciao, ciao.